a very good morning uh, the title of my paper is uh, philosophical counseling a buddhist approach to enhance well being in the light of brahma viharas so i have divided my paper into two parts in the first part i would be discussing the concept of philosophical counseling and how it helps to uh, overcome suffering in a practical manner and in the second part i would be highlighting an alternative model of philosophical counseling with special reference to the buddhist concept of brahma viharas i'll uh, i'll start by uh, beginning that um, <clears throat> we often come across many such issues in our life that can neither be characterized as physical or psychological so certain concerns in our life are beyond the domain of the above factors and these factors are these matters are deep they are vibrant and crucial and they require a proper considerations but unfortunately they remain unattended the best way to explain this predicament uh, is the recent ambiguity that we all are facing in the present pandemic because the state of isolation and our disconnection from the society has actually forced us to contemplate the true meaning of life uh, i think it was then that many of us actually realized the importance of philosophy and the philosophical works philosophy actually studies the various aspects of human life Uh, that characterizes them and i believe that it as a discipline is like a mirror to a human being that makes them identify themselves as a search of wisdom and the role of a philosophical counselor is actually to make the ignorant person realize their own identity now buddhism has offered uh, several meditate meditation techniques as philosophical counseling approaches and these techniques help the counselee to overcome the prejudices and the biases that they have developed over a time however our objective in this paper is not to delve into those techniques my aim here is to demonstrate a moral framework of our actions that can be adopted and used to enhance the practice of philosophical counselling it will examine the concept of brahma viharas which are the sublime attitudes to analyze how it can lay the proper foundation of the ethical values that are required to be developed in redefining the theoretical and the practical aspect of human life to begin with the first objective of this paper what is philosophical counseling and what are the different approaches to it that we have studied till now to as my as a, as i understand that philosophical un, uh, counseling is a contemporary counseling approach that enables an individual to reflect upon his or her way of life it addresses the metaphysical concerns of the counselee the client who approaches the counselor through various philosophical methods and helps to invigorate their beliefs rationally in the past few years philosophical counseling has developed its various interpretations among the various philosophical practitioners these call but i think that they all agree to a common point that the idea of philosophical counseling helps the client to attain a good and a satisfying life recognizing their concealed assumptions about themselves and the world and rectifying them to understand the true meaning of righteous life now one of the vital prerequisite for the practice of philosophical counseling or as lu marinov says that what philosophical counseling is not it is actually not for the mentally ill people it is for the rational functional and free from mental illness it is uh, for those people who have an aptitude to comprehend and grasp the guidance of the counselor and understand the complexities and intricacies of of the problem and that actually differentiates philosophical counseling from a psychotherapy that we have all uh, listened to the lectures also yesterday that and to this i would just add one point that philosophical counseling is a process oriented instead of problem oriented because while psychotherapy aims to make the counselee feel better in his present crisis of life philosophical counseling goes beyond and it motivates the person to extend his present boundaries of beliefs and go beyond his potential thoughts to reinvent himself now uh, we all are aware and we got the opportunity to hear pierre grimes from his mouth that he came up with a different concept of philosophical midwifery method even eliot de cohen came with a, a logic based therapy ran lahaf came with a deep philosophy so the main purpose behind their approach was to encourage an affected individual to critically examine the basis of their false dispositions 
while grind says uh, calls these false dispositions as pathologous Hilliard de Cohen tried to resolve them and overcome them through a constructive rational syllogism Ran Lahab emphasized that philosophical counseling helps in the formulation of one's world view it is a much um, deeper philosophical understanding of oneself and the world it actually prepares an individual to critically examine their prejudices and mitigate them for a better living now just like in western thought even in indian philosophy uh, we can identify various such models and instances of philosophical counseling and one of the methods that i that i propose here is the buddhist concept of brahma viharas brahma viharas prove to be an enduring model of philosophical counseling that actually helps us to connect with the world and understand the intricacies of human life most importantly it focuses on the interrelationship of the i and we and helps to improve our world view in a much broader manner it facilitates us to recognize our fallacious reasonings and triggers our intrinsic capability to rectify them in other words i would say that it makes us confront our rightful existence and enables us to understand ourselves in a much noble manner the wisdom of self understanding and knowledge of the world requires the cultivation of virtues like loving kindness compassion equanimity and feeling happy in the joy of others it rules out the practice of hatred fear cruelty enmity discontentment delusion and avarice so uh, buddha as a philosophical counselor advocated practicing brahma viharas as an ethical tool to remove the biases that we tend to develop in our lives what he emphasized upon is to uh, self reflect on one's action to understand the nature of reality and uh, guided humanity towards a righteous way of life which is free from ignorance now these four sublime attitudes initiate to change our perspective towards the world by making us aware of our hidden predicaments within us what it does it it helps in reducing the suffering of individuals through the perseverance of virtue and wisdom that trains the human mind to cultivate met the karuna mudit upekha now uh, brahma viharas as we know brahma means uh, the divine and vihara means abode is one such tool of philosophical counseling which as i said is process oriented which leads to the reflective uh, transformation of human beings this approach enables one to nurture a righteous meaning of well being and a proper understanding of the true nature of oneself now i'll discuss each of the brahma viharas briefly and try to relate it with the philosophical counseling method the first one is metta which means loving kindness benevolence friendliness now buddha advocated cultivating metta at every point of one's life metta actually inculcates the moral desire for happiness for all as it is said parahita parasukha kamana however i believe that one needs to go beyond this definition of metta and understand that the virtue of metta begins by cultivating loving kindness towards oneself before extending it towards others until one is kind hearted towards oneself it is hard to exhibit the quality towards others and developing metta with this perspective enhances the process of philosophical counseling <clears> the <throat> intention behind the philosophical practice is actually to motivate one to accept the reality of life because suffering arises when we refuse to accept the situation as it is instead and we desire things to be other than what they are now this causes a disconnection with reality and entwines us in delusion metta overcomes this uh, misconception by fostering our interrelatedness with others coming to the second uh, brahma vihara that is karuna or compassion compassion means a feeling of empathy for the suffering of others and i think this is one of the main quality of a philosophical counselor uh, com- in buddhism compassion is directed not only towards those people who are suffering 
the uniqueness lies in the fact that it is also towards those who are happy even to, towards those who are having evil intentions owing to the suffering that they may incur because of their immoral behavior now we all uh, tend to cultivate certain prejudices and biases since our childhood based upon our environment education people tend to conflict among those beliefs now these conflicts arises out of these beliefs and compassion tries to mitigate those uh, be, uh, those conflicts and this is how it contributes as a tool of philosophical counseling coming to the third uh, brahma viharas that is the sympathetic joy mudita now while compassion is one of the essential tools that emphasis uh, in uh, emphasis on getting uh, aware of the suffering of others so that they can be mitigated sympathetic joy looks for the happiness of the individuals so that they can be enhanced further it is a noble sense of gladness in the happiness of others <clears throat> sympathetic joy helps an individual to free oneself from the immoral states of mind such as envy and discontentment that compels one to compare their happiness with others a philosophical counselor motivates their clients to recognize their personal traits and encourages them to develop them further for a prosperous living such a noble gesture of a counselor represents a quality of sympathetic joy directed towards the well being of the clients it aims at ascertaining their moral progress i'm <laughs> sorry coming to the last brahma vihara that is the upekha equanimity this is a quality of even mindedness that one reflect towards all being it is maintaining a sense of neutrality and not indifference towards our experience the virtue of upekha as a part of philosophical counseling strengthens our power of moral judgment that allows us to distinguish between moral and immoral actions i conclude my paper by saying that in the light of the above discussions it can be observed that buddhism as an important system of indian philosophy inspired us to develop our awareness and enhance our world view from the perspective of philosophical counseling buddhism gave us enough scope to understand the ethical principles with fresh insights that could be beneficial to all including oneself this paper attempts to go beyond the meditative aspect of philosophical counseling uh, sorry buddhist counseling approach and focused on the need to advance certain ethical tools that can augment the practice of philosophical counseling amongst the various approaches of philosophical counseling this research hopes to contribute to the development of wisdom and peace in the world in the light of brahma viharas and justify the true meaning of philosophizing in philosophical counseling thank you so much